Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Glass bottom boat. Check it out. See the world. Okay, now, who's going to be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. False alarm. As I was saying, valuable prizes. Even a child can do it! False alarm. As I was saying, come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Well, they call me the Flem Master. The Flemster, the Flemalizer, the Master of Flem. Spit away! All right, Flem Master. He's cleared first place. That was truly awe-inspiring. Sports fans, We've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. You truly are the master of phlegm. Come on, let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? Just put your two lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? Cruises. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. See the world. Three hour tours. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 39 North, 84 West. Cruises. Three hour tours. How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Glass bottom boat. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 39 North, 84 West. Cruises. 
I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. My name's Kate Capsize. I'll be your captain. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, I'm hot to find the wreck of the Mad Monkey. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. Well, here we are. What now? I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for ten minutes. I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Sightseeing! think anyone would ever get the Mad Monkey's figurehead. Can I get the map piece now? Sure. Uh -huh. It's yours. All right. I got the first map piece. Uh -huh. Three-hour tours. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Can I show you anything else? I gotta go. 
See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Cruises. Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customers always do, eventually. Could you show me that coffin again? Yes, sirree. Now this isn't just your average 60 gallon coffin. This has the full 75 gallons you need to avoid unsightly bone readjustments. Could you get in and show me how big it is again? Okie dokie. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. But it's open. It's just as roomy closed. Here, let me show you.